This on strike. Please don't stop it, Verizon Wireless. Boycott Verizon. I'm Randy Brace, and I'm a member of uh, Local 51. That's uh, NABIT, uh, CWA affiliate. And I'm here to support local union members because it's a trying time for unions and the middle class around the country. And I want to stand with my brothers and sisters. Well, Verizon says they don't have enough money or that they the people have to take cutbacks. You don't believe that? There's a lot of money going around, and they're just trying to skim the bottom first. So money's there. It didn't disappear. Is that going on at KQED? Uh, there's a lot of money floating around somewhere, and uh, it's people choose where they spread it around. So priorities. Priorities, yeah. Can you guys talk about what's going on outside? Sorry, sorry, sorry no cameras in the store. That's the station. Are you guys union? Or? So it's Kevin Wilson, NABIT CWA, uh, Local 51 here in San Francisco. Uh, we're out here today with the uh, with the workers uh, on strike. 45,000 employees on strike at. Uh, at Verizon, and uh, I was just talking to somebody here on the street about what's going on in London and um, the up, uh, uprising there. And uh, I think labor is going to wake up, and the rest of America is going to realize how uh, how Verizon and and many companies like them are uh, are not being fair to workers. Uh, millions and millions of dollars of profits, but yet when they get to the bargaining table, they want to cut benefits everywhere they can. So that's not right, and, and that's why we're out here. Does that have anything to do with NBC, what they're doing too? You know, the NBC negotiations, uh, partly with GE, uh, have been going on now for uh, over two years. And uh, the ABC negotiations, the uh, contract there with Disney expired uh, March 31st. It's, uh, it's a very tough time for labor, and uh, we've just got to keep fighting until we get a contract. Are these companies taking advantage of the kind of economic depression to say, you know, you better not go out because you won't have a job? Well, what's interesting about that is that's what they claim, uh, but when you look at their bottom line, their profits are up. Corporate, corporate profits are up. They're doing very well. Yeah, the economy is bad, and people know what their 401k has done this week, but uh, the reality is the companies uh, can certainly afford, you know, what we're asking for and, uh, and, and certainly don't need need to be cutting benefits uh, and wages like they proposed. And they want to take away a lot of what workers have? You know, it's been 30 and 40 years in the broadcasting industry and Verizon, uh, you know, it's been a, a long, uh, a long for the ride. They've run the, run the uh, wireless uh, rail. They've done very well with all of that, made millions of dollars, but uh, yet don't want to share with workers. I'm Rick Santangelo, KQED. I'm shop steward, chief shop steward at KQED. And I'm here because I, first, first of all, stop union busting. That's a big one right there. And so I'm here to support um, Verizon, I mean, to support Verizon employees and uh, do whatever I can. Do you think that the attack on them is kind of connected to what's going on with all working people in this country? Yes, I do. I do. And unfortunately, a lot of people that don't know side with the corporations and they say, oh, well, companies got to survive, and that's what they say, but not a good thing. They're not looking at the uh, people that work here and, and, and support what they're doing. Uh, I'm Sarah Steffens with CWA District 9. Uh, we're uh, picketing Verizon Wireless stores in solidarity with uh, Verizon Wireless strikers on the East Coast. Uh, despite record profits, the company is demanding huge kickbacks from its workers, and I think Americans have had enough of that. The issue, the issue here is, is a strike over stalled contract negotiations. And what do you want people to do? Uh, not shop at Verizon Wireless. Don't shop here. It's on strike. I'm Diana Kane, CWA Local 9410, assistant to the president and also e-board member for OPEIU3, and I'm here to support CWA uh, in their efforts to bring the attention to the public about the greed of Verizons and to support the union members that we are trying to organize. And what happens to people who want to join unions? Do a lot of them get fired or harassed? This is, yeah, the, especially Verizons. It's their tactics now. They are... Um, really harassing the you know the workers that they want to join unions and fear tactics and you know jobs are not very plentiful right now so it's it's an absolute union busting tactic that they're using isn't that illegal illegal <laughs> but they don't care and you know it's that the union's going to have to take you know to protect uh, the rights of, of being able to organize I'm here yeah, I'm uh, Bill Snyder. I'm a freelance journalist. Freelance journalist. I'm proud to be a member of the Pacific Media Workers, and we're part of the 
CWA. I'm here for a couple of reasons. One, as a good union member, I want to support my sisters and brothers. But it's it's more than that. You know, it's like the signs say there's a huge attack on the middle class right now. You know, and I don't know, people call it the middle class, maybe it's the working class. But the point is that those of us who work for a living are just being slammed. They're cutting, they're cutting budgets, they want to take away retirement, they want to take away health care benefits. I mean, pretty soon, how are we going to survive? So that's, that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm very angry. I'm really angry. I mean, just yesterday, right, because, you know, the banks have blown up the economy, my retirement account shrank by about 10%. Is that my fault? No, it's not. So, yeah, I'm damn angry. You betcha. And uh, they want people to work for free in your industry? Well, yeah, they do. I mean, I'm fortunate in that people pay me pretty well, but a lot of my brothers and sisters are working for almost nothing. And of course, higher paid people like me suffer even suffer because lower lower wages drive down wages for everybody. So we really do need to stick together these days.